podcast uh, discussing uh, ranging from the industry uh, consultants uh, as well as the people who are uh, working for the yana itself and we have learned a lot about like uh, labview proficiency and how to use labview and the future of labview and then the labview community uh, so my name is ram gurung i am the certified labview architect as well as the labview champion i'll be the host for this uh, conversation today and i have a very very special guest for today uh, he's all the way from germany and uh, he's the labview champion as well as the certified labview architect and uh, he's uh, his uh, field is like a uh, relatively a uh, little bit different from all the other people who have discussed so far uh, so he's from the like academics background and not only that like uh, he's working very closely with the ni uh, to uh, help all the customers in germany and across the europe to develop their proficiency uh, he's no other than uh, uh, doctor and professor uh, marcus hyde uh, so uh, rather than me like uh, giving the general introduction about him i would like to uh, give him the opportunity to introduce himself so marcus uh, thank you very much for joining in all the way from germany uh, and like uh, uh, allocating your valuable time for this conversation and helping uh, the people from the labby community to know what you are doing and your contribution to the labby community uh, please uh, i'll give it to you yeah please welcome to the show thank you ram for the introduction and the opportunity to um, yeah to to be part of your interview series and uh, yes, my name is Marcus Hyde. As you mentioned before, I'm a professor at the University of Applied Science in Darmstadt. Darmstadt mm -hmm. is a small town uh, close to Frankfurt in the middle of uh, Germany. And uh, there I've been a professor since uh, 2008 in the areas of sensors and LabVIEW. And um, we uh, start in 2009, one of the successful uh, LabVIEW academies in Germany uh, wow. where we teach um, in the years 2009 to 2012 uh, nearly uh, 700 students in, in 50 weeks with core one and core two courses uh, by myself and uh, from this time on with my employees. So on the one hand side, I'm um, yeah very familiar with lab, you also coaching and training. And um, for me, it is a very sensible tool, especially for our electronics and uh, mechatronics students. And um, yes, uh, that's one of my um, part. Yes, on the other side, I'm uh, also in research projects. So we have the SAS called SAS Competence Center of Applied Sensor Systems in uh, Darmstadt. I founded it in 2009. I'm the director of the SAS, and there we uh, develop uh, sensor projects. So uh, we uh, try to applicate sensor solutions for companies and partners. And on the other side, um, we have the second uh, institute founded in 2015. It's the world one, only it's the competence center for high assurance system development is LabVIEW. Uh, okay. So the, this mission impossible uh, called LabVIEW <laughs> safe to bring wow. this graphic tool also in the high security or high assurance and, and safety area. These are uh, these uh, um, jobs I have at the university. Uh -huh. Wow, really nice. Uh, uh, interesting introduction, uh, Marcus. So uh, please uh, let us, uh, our guests, know about like a little bit about how you started using LabVIEW and then like uh, why uh, about this like a CAS as well as the CCASS. Uh, uh, why do you uh, found that like uh, where the necessity arise in the industry that uh, where you actually uh, came into the picture? Yeah. Yes, I think I start 2002. So mm -hmm. always you have to call uh, which LabVIEW version it was. It was the LabVIEW version, uh, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, I was a PhD in uh, the Fraunhofer Association and we use uh, LabVIEW as a uh, container uh -huh. uh, to contain algorithms uh, inside. Uh, the, the focus of these uh, thesis was uh, Kalman filter estimation theory. Uh -huh. And also I think the big advantage is um, also to to access sensor data also mm -hmm. from not uh, ni uh, hardware and also to to uh, build up executables to to make um, 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 yeah feasibility studies also with the customer in their field so this was the start of labview 
And then I was a little bit familiar with Levy also in my uh, part or my time at Bosch. I was three years at the Robert Bosch uh, department of uh, um, Arabic development. And there we didn't develop uh, algorithms in LabVIEW, but we test all our Airbag systems with LabVIEW. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2008, I, um, since then, I'm at the university. And then I recognized if I arrived that there was no LabVIEW at the university. And it uh -huh. could happen that uh, students leave our university and they uh, think that in, in companies where millions of uh, voltmeters and uh, mm -hmm. thousands of oscilloscopes, and therefore I thought there is a need there is a need to educate uh, automated uh, test development, uh, software-based test development, and also mm -hmm. yes. And then, um, and I brings me and uh, three other professors from other departments, uh, so wow. also chemical and biotechnology, mm -hmm. and mechanical plastics, uh, and and uh, mathematics together, and we uh, organize a campus license, and then. The story starts what I mentioned before that uh, yeah. it's somebody who who educate and um, yeah. I was open also to to make some uh, uh, exams. <laughs> yes, I think <laughs> challenge for professors to do these exams yeah. because would only lost their face if they don't yeah. uh, pass these exam. And there I start with the CLID. So this uh -huh. was in I think 2008 or 2009 wow. because this is the allowedness for professors to teach lab view in uh -huh. academic area and then uh, uh, i um uh, try to go to an eye and i i mentioned that i could educate uh, let you better than them because i'm uh, yeah. more experienced <laughs> i'm more a detective man more emotional intelligent and i say okay then you will get the chance and uh -huh. uh, so i make the exam to the or credit to the cld and since uh -huh. 2012 i'm a, a regional trainer for an eye wow. in three towns in germany uh -huh. so core one into core courses uh -huh. because I always say the first contact with the tool is very important and there yeah, we correct. need teachers and uh, this is my message and since then I'm, I teach maybe um, several uh, um, industry partners from an eye in, in, in LabVIEW and then I saw that there is a, still an, an, an additional crate <laughs> called <laughs> C and yeah. uh, then I so try to be uh, this exam uh, to get this uh, credit or this um, uh, certification. And since 2014, I'm a CLA. Uh -huh. And on my first CLA summit, I come in contact with uh, Jeff Kodowski and some and wow. I got, I start this idea to bring safety and let you together. And we uh -huh. founded in 2015 uh, these um, um, yes, these institute uh, called uh, LabVIEW Competence Center for High School and System Development in okay. Darmstadt. And okay. since then, it is this message to bring LabVIEW in this area. Yeah. And um, yes, and additional to this, I'm also a LabVIEW consultant. And uh, uh -huh. I have a concept to um, increase proficiency and adoption in companies. Uh -huh. So uh, called architecture workshop. I could uh, um, explain it later on also in detail if you're interested. Yeah. And this yeah. is also an to bring lab you in, in companies and to to start as uh, standardization yeah wow that's really awesome uh, so uh, <clears throat> in the previous interviews i had with like uh, different uh, personalities uh, they were from the industry somebody were like a uh, uh, you know solar developer some were working in a team uh, somebody were working for like a very large multinational companies and they had like a different diverse roles and everything but like as an educator, uh, like uh, you had the opportunity to meet not only the people like uh, who are already in the industry, but also, uh, you know, who are just like are trying to get into the industry after finishing their like, uh, you know, engineering uh, graduate degree or whatever. Uh, so what do you think like, uh, because like uh, so far, uh, many people may not be aware, like, you know, they think like a uh, lab view, not as a, you know, uh, full-fledged programming languages like other programming languages. I think you must have heard also heard similar kind of topics. So, what do you think about like a what? Do you, uh, can you a uh, little bit like uh, you know uh, uh, let uh, the audience understand a little bit about this like a uh, high assurance uh, you know topic you are talking about? Like uh, maybe uh, many people are not aware about that aspect because people think that you know LabVIEW is the easy tool and then they just go and then like just write a code and then. I uh, hope to fly. So uh, what's your take on this, like a high assurance, uh, you know, the uh, context uh, and lab view? 
Yes, I, I think that is a basic problem of LabVIEW because um, uh, LabVIEW uh, often starts in companies with a bachelor thesis and uh, uh, CD-ROM in the past with LabVIEW. Oh. <laughs> and then they say, try, this is a funny uh, tool, try to build up a test machine. And uh, it's so initiative and there are so many examples. Uh, so every student could do this, but without any training. So um, with bad code, and uh, yeah. I think that also the, the, the challenge we have uh, to explain everybody, LabVIEW is, is also an, an, um, a tool like an, another uh, language like C++, C Sharp. And if you uh, have an, an, a good teaching before you start, you will also build up very efficient, very uh, safe, uh, applications and they are in a competition with every other language completely. And um, I think with with uh, two uh, advantages, one is this graphical approach. So mm -hmm. I think any text-based languages will build up an additional layer after uh, yeah. or in the meantime. So to yeah. understand the the the, the, um, the 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 system or the the software architecture better. And we have this directly from the first moment, mm -hmm. graphical approach. And yeah. I think this is especially a big advantage in time to market. So from the idea to the solution, I think there's a, 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 a I think for, for my opinion, is LabVIEW the best and efficient tool to, to do this. And especially now in digitalization, where it's very important to be fast from idea to solution. And the other big advantage is the connection to the mm -hmm. hardware. So um, I'm, I think you could uh, uh, access yeah. every hardware on the world, LabVIEW uh, hardware or non uh, uh, NI hardware or non NI hardware, if you have the knowledge of the maybe communication protocol, for example. Mm -hmm. It's very open to get uh, 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 sensor data and, and, and hardware in this, um, in this uh, tool on your laptop. And I think since, I don't know, I couldn't uh, ask, uh, tell you exactly, but for my feeling, since so uh, 10 years, I think also these embedded parts mm -hmm. in, in uh, from an eye are also very, uh, um, very good. So, so that I thought, I think there is no gap between, uh, for example, an, an, um, uh, uh, a tool like MATLAB Simulink Target Link yeah. to LabVIEW and, and uh, Compact Rio FPGA and so on. And that yeah. was the idea. Also, but but nobody believes it. So if you go to <laughs> E to Dekra, they will always expect ex expect an uh, an a safety SP PLC safety PLC oh. C code. And uh, if they saw something like LabVIEW, they they will not believe because it, it wasn't in the past, so it will be not in the future yeah. Yeah. allowed to do this. And this is this message mission I have to to um, bring this in this field. And uh, I think. We, we don't want to develop all ECUs in cars and all mm -hmm. uh, production lines with LabVIEW. Mm -hmm. I think for also Compact Rio is too expensive and, and mm -hmm. whatever. But there are um, uh, there, there is a market of, for example, special machine mm -hmm. uh, developers. And they build up a special machine completely with LabVIEW because a PLC is too stupid to, yeah. to <laughs> take these measurement parts yeah. and this automated uh, yeah. automation. Uh, um, um, system, um, but they always need a safety PLC only uh -huh. for the step from the agent of these uh, certification institutes. And yeah. I think this, uh, now uh, the first step we go in, we realized an, uh, uh -huh. an real machine now with this new yellow uh, uh, um, module from Compact Rio uh, uh -huh. um, for safety, the ZIL module. And we didn't need any, or we will not need any uh, safety PLC to get then the allowedness to bring this in the high insurance market. So I think it is more like to tell everybody and to to bring the proof of principle, the the the, the, the proof that the reliability of LabVIEW is um, in a in a in a competition with with the other accepted tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a really really. A very interesting and very like uh, valid point as well because like uh, I think any any kind of hardware or instruments uh, you can think about like uh, you can easily 
communicate with all these sensors and everything. I think like uh, your company also name is also like around sensors and everything. Uh, that's really a great point uh, you have made, uh, Marcus. Uh, so like as an educator, like uh, I wanted to know like a little bit about, you know, uh, you might be, we have already discussed that like uh, you are uh, looking in both sides because uh, for example, like uh, you are not only working with the engineers and scientists of the past, but also like uh, you are, uh, you know, shaping or like, uh, you know, uh, you're educating uh, the uh, engineers of the uh, future as well in the university level. Uh, so uh, what do you think, like, uh, what is the context difference uh, you have experienced that, you know, the quality of the software they are building in the past, maybe you might have encountered while consulting or like uh, you might be inheriting code from some other engineers or like uh, some clients. And you might have seen that, oh, maybe this could have been, mm -hmm. uh, code could have been written better. Or like uh, you might have seen now like uh, the uh, students, like uh, who are still in the university, uh, uh, the quality of the code they are writing. So uh, what uh, uh, differences you have found and then like uh, what could uh, be done better and like uh, what, uh, you know, experience or like experiments or like uh, what actions you have taken uh, from your side. And uh, maybe like uh, that can be done like uh, elsewhere in the world as well, uh, taking the inspiration from your side because I haven't seen like uh, many people like you, like uh, who have been you know, actually proactively pushing this uh, in the industry, not only in the industry, but also in the academic side? Yes, uh, there, there's, a, there's a long question. Uh, I, I tried to answer and uh, I hope I, I could answer your, your question completely. I think on the one hand, on the, on the academic side, it is important yeah. uh, to influence your lectures, your, yeah. your, your labs, everything yeah. from latest industrial topics. Yeah. Therefore, it's important to to make also a research uh, activity and also maybe consultant in industries that yeah. you can bring the latest topics digitalization automated mm -hmm. tests uh, autonomous driving blockchain yeah. in the university and then you could motivate the students and also you could tell them what they will be expect in the future in companies mm -hmm. uh, we, we there a big challenge between our lectures and the the, the latest development yeah. in the world yeah. yeah we have lectures like electronics and, and and they are maybe 30 40 years old but we yeah. we, we have the rule or the the the, the inscription or the, the 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 program so we have to teach this uh, these are stuffs yeah. that students will say i could also uh, have a look on, on on five youtube videos and uh, two wikipedia articles and then i have this stuff uh, but but they they must also pass this exam on the other yeah. side maybe my colleagues are also not everybody directly in touch with latest industry activities so topics like digitalization blockchain and and so on they are not familiar and they will not uh, teach them so i think there is a, is a gap and my mission is always to explain to students uh, that there are topics in the future in their job life they will be very good mm -hmm. prepared to do this because they grow up with yeah. internet with Facebook, with LinkedIn, with yeah, uh, uh, whatever, um, they have only the challenge that they have to pass these old exams. <laughs> yeah, and then so that is on the one, on one hand side to, I think, to motivate uh, students and then they will, and if you teach them uh, also at the beginning with good teachers with uh, core one and core two courses and bring them on these, yeah. maybe this level, my, my, my uh, target is always to bring in every course, everybody yeah. later so far that he could uh, understand the state machine approach yeah and thing below and i think then we we have a level where we could uh, build up uh, good code maybe it is not enough for all applications yeah. but my challenge is always every core one every code two course in the industry from an eye and also every lecture if they leave me then they understand the state machine approach uh, uh the first big uh, yeah. I think they could realize a lot of uh, um, uh, um, programs and, and systems yeah. in the future. On the other side, if you ask me what I uh, what is my experience in industry, mm -hmm. there we have also the same uh, uh, um, bandwidth of, of LabVIEW developers. We have also these uh, self-educated uh, LabVIEW uh -huh. developers 
They never saw a state machine, and uh -huh. they are the heroes <laughs> in, the, in the in the in the companies we saw yeah. educated. Uh, uh, maybe core one, core three, uh, yeah. core one, two, core, core three, or CLD level um, yeah. um, um, developers. You you will see everything, and yeah. I think. My method, my mission is there now with this concept of these architecture workshops to go in companies and to bring them together and to to have a look on the applications they had, they have, and they will have, and what is the maximum common part of every system you develop or you developed or you will do, and and then to uh, bring these local heroes together, and then. They could um, um, confirm maybe a very basic architecture, maybe also on, on state machine, for example, some coding guidelines, some GUI guidelines, and some rules to, to program and whatever, yeah. uh, to, to bring them together. They are all afraid that they will lose their face, because yeah. if they are, <laughs> they are the local heroes in every yeah. department, independent from each other, and to tell them, so you please... I invite you. I make telephone interviews with them before, yeah. and then I uh, introduce myself and the idea yeah. of these um, the workshop concept, and so that they will see that if they work together, they will be more efficient. They could use also mm -hmm. from each other. They could understand other uh, architectures. They will not have the same development in the in the uh, in the research or development department and in the in the production line or in the production. And, and to bring them together because they are still the heroes if they leave the the, the, the workshop because they have these uh, application know-how, for example, in their part. And this is so my mission also together with yeah. NI, with our accounts managers, to go in accounts, to go in companies, yeah. to bring them together. Yeah. And if you send a confirmation of an architecture and of coding and GUI guidelines, you could also develop a, a training directly on this. Not yeah. these stuff for one or two courses. So more uh, uh, that they that you educate them on their architecture. So the 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 ex exercises you will have yeah. in the, your training will be the mosaic points or stones of their architecture, and then they will be very efficient yeah. in the future. Wow, really interesting point, Marcus. Like uh, you have already give like a little bit of like uh, you know snippets on like uh, what you are planning to do. So coming into the same discussion, like. Uh, I saw the animated version of like uh, your, uh, you know, ongoing uh, project. I would say, uh, so on which like uh, you are collaborating with these all these companies, and then how to make them, uh, you know, successful in like a huge, large, uh, you know, team-based environment and everything. Uh, can you like uh, you have already discussed a little bit, but like uh, can you give it on a uh, detail, and then uh, maybe like uh, some of the customers they might uh, find this video, and then. Uh, they might be interested in like uh, what you are planning to do and so that like uh, they can approach you i would also like uh, make sure that like i'll share the link to that video uh, in the description below of this video so that uh, in case like uh, they would like to take your services they can approach you directly so uh, okay. uh you can explain yeah a little bit like uh, what you are planning to do what is the end game here <laughs> Yeah, so this is a, a little bit an, an, um, a concept I, I did in the past the, by my own as an uh, electric consultant. Mm -hmm. And since two or three years, uh, so it was an initiative on NI sales uh, to, mm -hmm. to do this together and also the opportunity for account managers to uh, mm -hmm. sell this concept for their accounts and to work together. Um, the the motivation from my side was to um, uh, to go in companies to to increase their proficiency and adoption and also to increase their working together and uh, also to make very efficient in-house trainings in the companies based on such an architecture so the other idea is then always they send them to the normal trainings and they come back and then they are so we develop a weather station in this uh -huh. course with the height and now what are the applications we have and they waste time again uh, uh, to explain them what is the difference between the training and our machines for example uh -huh. and yeah. of course the motivation i did it uh, several times also with companies and uh, since I think two or three years, we I'm working together with the nine, also with the account managers, and right. then they could also sell me or use me, whatever, or the, the 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 accounts. What is the idea? As I mentioned before, you have in companies often five to ten local right. heroes yeah. working together, 
maybe nerds, maybe not so emotional intelligent, maybe not so uh -huh. communicative. Uh, uh, able like maybe uh, other people for example and they have their own part in the company and there they are the experts and everybody says wow he is a very good lab view developer because nobody around has any knowledge of lab view yeah and uh, and, and and this the, the challenge is to bring them together is for the management a challenge because on the management level who has the power to bring them together and to say now mm -hmm. we use this architecture or this architecture? They have yeah. no lab view knowledge. They have no lab view knowledge to decide. Yeah, right. Therefore, every uh, local hero could say, "No, my is the best architecture," and the other one also. So they have no chance to 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 to, to bring them together. Um, on the other side of an an I side, there is the account manager. He is very emotional and intelligent. Yes, uh -huh. and he could bring people together, but he has not a deeply lab view knowledge to, to mm -hmm. explain is this architecture better than this. And then on the other side, at an eye, there are also maybe also several uh, lab view consultants and also mm -hmm. lab view architects from an eye. They go in and they say, okay, what you are doing there is, is bad. <laughs> now I <laughs> develop the right version here. Tuck, 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 tuck. And then yeah. you have the right architecture. And uh, the oh. idea is to use the resources we have and also the knowledge and also if you develop very bad code over years you have a, a, a lot of application knowledge in your mind so you understand the machine maybe the, the code seems a little bit like this is very stupid and, and not good code but the, mm -hmm. the application which they have in their in their mind in their in, yeah. in, in their in their feeling and so the idea is now the test manager called me and asked okay. Marcus, we do this architecture workshop. And the workshop is not only one day, but uh, generally uh, the the um, idea behind is um, um, to to uh, uh, um, um, have a longer process. Um, so um, um, uh, at first, we dedicate the participants of the workshop uh, who will participate from the several mm -hmm. departments be also several sites and yes. this should be five to five to no no eight to 15 people and uh, if we de uh, dedicate them and have also the the workshop uh, appointment or date then i will telephone interview every one of them personally uh -huh. because mm -hmm. we have only one day to bring such heroes in in the workshop you uh -huh. to bring them together one day is a challenge but if yeah. you say we need nobody will come and uh, <laughs> if they don't if i don't introduce myself before they will wait one hour at the beginning waiting what happened there this stupid uh, guy with the yellow shoes uh professor and and uh, i will lost my face and so on and if you have this telephone call maybe 10 minutes or one and a half team viewer session i know what they are doing what are their uh, needs and where on which proficiency level they are and um, then we start this oh. In this workshop on this day, we have, will have uh, four faces, colored yeah. faces, a yellow face, and, um, a green face and a blue face, or two green faces and a blue face. You will see it in the yeah. video. So at the beginning, we we develop maybe um, a very rough uh, uh, architecture, maybe only a state description. Mm -hmm. What your systems had, have and will have in the future? and. Uh, um, maybe at the end of this day, there is no left view code running, but there uh -huh. is a understanding of everything, of states, yeah. of, of of coding guidelines. And in this yellow phase, we think about how what states you have in your systems. For example, uh -huh. initial test state, uh, shutdown, whatever. And uh, for example, also this um, the state initialize it takes maybe sometimes 50 minutes to confirm uh -huh. is or company idle initialize initialization or uh, initialisierung and mm -hmm. there's no wrong and uh, wrong and right on this mm -hmm. side and, and confirmation and if they confirm that it is in the future idle or in it or whatever mm -hmm. they are very efficient in the future if they open uh, uh, their architecture and they see oh these are our, for example states or yeah. message whatever and they have these wordings then, then they know what what each other uh, mention, and mm -hmm. in 
Second phase, we collected coding guidelines, not 100, not a PDF document, applicable mm -hmm. coding guidelines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it is like the, the golden rules of lab development in our company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is also applicable. And uh, I think there's also uh, less rules, more than a big uh, um, document. Nobody will read it. <laughs> And yeah, uh, then additional to this, uh, we, we um, talk about uh, coding uh, uh, GUI guidelines. How looks our goodies, GUIs in the future? Which uh, logo we will have? What is the, uh, the yeah. look and feel on? And so you see in this workshop, we could also attend non lab view users mm -hmm. because everybody could talk about the machine, also product responsibilities, or uh, maybe other programmers from other languages and also with um, coding guidelines, uh, also with states in a machine and also with GUI guidelines. The only point they couldn't uh, maybe uh, give some arguments is the coding guidelines. Mm -hmm. And you see, you could also do this workshop with absolutely beginners. Uh -huh, so wow. beginners, you could also do this workshop. Maybe then it is uh, a little bit more necessary mm -hmm. that I have them what could be architectures and make some proposals yeah guidelines but generally you could also do this workshop and then you start your education of your people or your few employees everything is possible we have also such a workshop with three um lab view developers in the company wow. is c plus plus developer and c c sharp developer and wow. we discussed states and and maybe there was not the full few coding guidelines but the rest was also influenced from every participants and that is wow. also help to to yeah. show them, the reliability of lab view and there's also a program language and what you can do in this. And in the last phase, this is very important also for the account managers, maybe who also take part in this um, or other alliance partners in this uh, workshop. There I try to give every participant a little job. So one of them uh, take care about to develop a framework based of the state machine approach, for example. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, taking care about the coding guidelines. Uh -huh. document, load them up. One of them is taking yeah. care of the, um, uh, the GUI guidelines. Some of them, what is with our server? Who loads up and what is our uh, yeah. uh, strategy, whatever. And mm -hmm. um, all of these workshops, they start also a left view um, um, a co community meeting. Um, uh, uh, what is the word? Sorry for these meetings uh, with left view developers. Lab user group, or thank you, thank you. Yeah, lab, <laughs> the journal lab view user group because they are yeah. so happy they know each yeah. other now and that yeah. they, they like this exchange. And then they yeah. start a journal lab view user group. And uh -huh. this is then very easy for everybody who support the company because you have only to take part on this uh, a meeting, for example, to get in touch what happens in the company. And for the company, it's very, I think, from the first time. From the first hour of the workshop, they will increase their proficiency, uh, especially this working together. And mm -hmm. we could analyze which teaching they need, which training, which components, and to bring them further. And it's also a possibility to make a gap analysis, how far they are away from a center of excellence, for example. Mm -hmm. So you could do this to, to dedicate or to validate how far they are. Because we have their challenge in, in, in companies if the company is not an alliance partner, the motivation to be certified is very low. So yeah. the motivation to be a CLD, a CLA, the company will not do it because they are afraid that the headhunters will see the developer. <laughs> yeah. The developer will see uh, the only uh, why I have to pay money to go to Munich and maybe yeah. I didn't pass the exam, then I will lost my face and so on. So uh, to know what is the, 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 the proficiency in the company? You couldn't check the CLD, CLA uh, yeah. because I think mostly only the, the, uh, the, the alliance partners have this strategy mm -hmm. to educate the, the, the people to CLD, CLA. And also maybe companies, they are on the way to the center of excellence. But mm -hmm. there are many, many other companies you couldn't measure directly what is the proficiency. Yeah, so that's, that's yeah. yeah. You could see it in this animated video. Yeah. Yeah, sure, certainly. Certainly, like uh, uh, Marcus, like uh, thank you very much for like informing everyone, building the awareness 
And I know like uh, the people in the Germany, I think they are now writing very, very nice, like a, you know, future proof code uh, because of like uh, what you are doing in Germany at the moment. Uh, so it's a very valid point. And then I know like uh, I've also experienced like uh, these kind of gaps between like uh, people, you know, they don't want to invest their time and energy, you know, improving uh, writing code. And it's uh, really surprises me as well. For example, like, uh, you know, you spend a lot of your time at work. And then like uh, if you use a very powerful tool like LabVIEW or Testan, and then like uh, you do not know how to use it properly. Now, like uh, you are just like, uh, you know, dragging yourself like, uh, you know, like every time you do not know, you have to go to the Internet and you have to ask for the support and everything. Uh, so, Marcus, like uh, 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 that's really, really awesome project you are heading and then improving the proficiency of the customers. So uh, what do you think? Like, uh, what are the challenges? I think you must also have faced the challenges. You know, most of the companies, they know they require this or like uh, maybe they are not aware. I had the, uh, you know, one of the interview with like Steve Watts from UK. And uh, he told me uh, he was working alone in one of the company. And then like uh, he was sort of like a living inside a bubble because he didn't had this awareness that like, you know, there is like a lab user community or maybe an educator like, uh, you know, the Marcus Hyde. And then like, he didn't knew like uh, what is possible and then how to approach and everything. So uh, what are the challenges you have faced uh, to, you know, the, uh, for the people like uh, who are not aware, one of the thing is that one. And another thing they know, but yet to understand the value of uh, this kind of program. Uh, what are the challenges? Um, I think the first step, uh, the first challenge is uh, to recognize that there is a need. Mm -hmm. uh, that there is a need and, and that, that you are open to um, spend time and money uh, to increase your proficiency to educate yourself. You have it on the hand side, on the developer itself, and on the other on the on the the, the company uh, perspective and um yes i think there's also many psychology uh, challenges you have um the, the first thing is that recognize that there is a gap yeah. <laughs> that, that you have a need yeah and and, and it's maybe also uh, the first hard uh, challenge you have and if you see that you have will see that you have a gap and that, that you could increase your proficiency and that it is maybe good to communicate with the other then yeah. the next challenge is to do it yes yeah. to to go to your department and say i need a teaching why did you a teaching why need you a teaching you are our lab view expert and please go in your project back and uh, it or for example and um, i think yes this is also a challenge time and then uh, to have the time, to have the money, uh, um, and 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 to be open uh, that there is an invested the future. So if if we do this proficiency workshop, it takes every yeah. developer one day, and yeah. maybe one and a half hour to telephone with me. Wow. So ten, hours. and maybe if they are not from the same side, they have also the the, the trip to this uh, headquarter or whatever, and therefore you must always. Uh, uh, open to invest this time you personally and also yeah. your company because this is an invest in in in, in the future yeah. uh, like an exam like a training also to invite for example me because i can well, not coming for free uh yeah. so an invest maybe uh, and, and and to be open to do this and to live not in a bubble each other for its yeah. self and is the the expert and um, I think, uh, but but especially for a company, it, it, it should be an, 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 an a good way and to, to think about to bring them together. Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, I think, very very uh, very good to have local heroes in in your companies. Yeah. If they leave, if they are ill, if they die, whatever, <laughs> you have, who could yeah. understand the code and you know it. Maybe uh, in in your experience, if you if you yeah. as Expert and you maybe are the better grammar than I. I'm more the teacher and the strategic yeah. man. Yeah. And to 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 understand very bad coded lab view programs, <laughs> it's hard. Yes, to to yeah. um, adapt an additional sensor on a, on a, on a bad program and realize yeah. the lab view code, for example. Yeah. Uh, 
Is this an answer of your question? Yeah, yeah, that's a very interesting point. Like, uh, Marcus, you have pointed out like uh, perfectly well. Uh, so, like, uh, let's keep like a little bit technical side aside. Uh, so, like, I will come a little bit towards you. Like, uh, uh, it has been nearly, I think, like a uh, one year and a half or something. Like, uh, all the posts were appearing in LinkedIn all over the place, and like everywhere, like uh, it says that, like, uh, you know, the Yellow Shoes has arrived at Yanai Week or like a Yanai Days CLA Summit. Uh, interesting. Like, uh, it's really, really great way. Like, uh, I think, like, uh, my perspective was like, uh, you know, like. Uh, LabVIEW also has got like a certifications and everything has got yellow color as well. Uh, and it, these are like all like a Nike shoes, if I'm not uh, incorrect. So uh, uh, please like uh, tell us the story about this. Uh, like, uh, you know, because like uh, now, like uh, wherever, like uh, anywhere you go to some conference and everything, uh, we don't need to see at the face. We just need to look at the shoes and then we know Marcus is here. Please tell us the yeah. story behind this. I think like uh, <laughs> many many people like uh, were the followers of you and then the mm -hmm. students as well. Uh, I think and like, I always uh, yeah. always wear yellow shoes. You could see it here. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, always... you can, you can, yeah, you can. Uh, um, my my wife hated because I have no other colored shoes. I have only uh, uh, yellow sneakers. The yeah. story behind this maybe that I um, uh, since I'm a professor, I have not these uh, hard. Uh, um, um, clothing or, or rules, uh, I'm, I'm more independent. Uh, so I, I could also wear sneakers. They are very easy and nice and um, comfortable. And uh, then I saw this effect uh, so that, that people uh, tell me, oh, Marcus, uh, this is the one with the colored sneakers. At the beginning, I had uh, several colors. Uh -huh. And I start my initiative in 2015 with this Let Your Safety. And safety uh -huh. is yet and it was a good uh, uh, relation to this. And um, and then I saw, for example, of the NI Week, that everybody could find me if they uh, they always say, this is a um, um, well-dressed man with yellow shoes. Yeah? And it was very easy. And therefore, yes, I, I do it uh, since then. And then always it is like a branding that everybody knows the yellow shoes arrive. And um, I think... There is another point now. Uh, the other um, um, doing I have or my other focus is digitalization and blockchain. Uh -huh. Help companies on the way to the Internet of Things. There we will have uh -huh. the same challenge like to increase proficiency. And I have also a very similar uh, a concept wow. of, of a workshop to do this. You will see it in our maybe. If you, if you give the link uh, to our YouTube channel of TAS, yeah, you see also many um, 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 on our homepage, also many uh, videos. I'm explaining uh, digitalization, Internet of Things, and blockchain. And um, yeah. there I have a concept because digitalization is nothing you could do in three years and then you are digital. And um, it's also not good to have a big digitalization project. But these challenge companies have e, uh, consultants or companies and they sell them the big IT solution. Maybe they connected their whole fab and they, they build them up and a uh, server in the basement and to collect all data with any uh, uh, business model behind. And uh, my idea is okay. to go step by step in the Internet of Things. And that's also the yellow shoes, very dynamic. Go step by wow. step. Uh, we educate and uh, we dedicate uh, um, half year projects on this way, and then they could go uh, uh -huh. these smaller projects on this way, press the opportunity, um, validate their way, adapt this way, and, and go in with the next next project. And these are also the yellow shoes, uh, step by step in the in the Internet of Things. That's the the story. <laughs> wow, really, really interesting. Uh, so, like, uh, Marcus, like, uh, we actually missed uh, your shoes again. Can you show it to our audience again? So that like, my uh, shoes. Yeah, can you show them again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I will do it. I'm an old man. Yeah, here yeah. Oh, wow, awesome. Yeah, that's the market <laughs> shoes. Like, uh, nobody missed it. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah. now, like, uh, they understand the value, like, uh, the branding as well as, uh, you know, uh, why uh, Marcus is wearing the yellow shoes. I think, like, uh, some people might be, you know, a little bit intrigued and confused and all this kind of stuff and everything. Now, like, uh, this video has got all the answers. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, uh, Marcus. Uh, so You're Marcus, welcome. like I think uh, you are, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think like uh, you are also involved with like the, the local uh, lab user group in Germany. 
Uh, can you tell us about like uh, if you have any or like uh, you are planning to have uh, or like uh, how's the you know the lab user group uh, coordination in your area? Yes, I think they uh, improve it uh, for from my perspective. Um, I'm a little bit far away from a very successful user group from Jörg Hampel, oh. also a lab user, oh. uh, but I saw only the five nice uh, post-its on LinkedIn if they are uh, together and um, I always make the joke it looks a little bit like the party on the NI days in Germany on the first <laughs> and uh, I think there is a new initiative by uh, but I by, but I had no time to be part there is also mm -hmm. an uh, left user group uh, close to Frankfurt um, mm -hmm. um, they start now I think they had the first event and uh, wow. I will take part maybe in the future, yes. But I think there is uh -huh. a bit uh, from, um, from an eye that they take care a little bit more and organize these lab user uh -huh. from, from, a, from, from their side. Yeah? Uh, I think it's a, a very important uh, thing to sit together and to have the exchange uh, without yeah. any restrictives of your company and, and NDAs and, and so on. Uh, a little yeah. bit like CLA summit, like GDEFCON. Um, I think it's always yeah. a good uh, the possibilities to have an exchange to to uh -huh. see uh, the other yeah. developers have the same challenges, the same problems, and uh, maybe also a solution yeah. and they exchange it. No. I, I yeah, uh, really awesome. Yeah. The lab view, uh, user group. Uh, we had it in the past uh, uh -huh. uh, initiative from Mark Backmeyer in Darmstadt. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, at the moment, this is not the uh, active uh, user group. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah, awesome, uh, Marcus. Uh, so, Marcus, I believe like uh, you have presented in like uh, several, uh, you know, the events as well. I believe like uh, you will be traveling for the Yana Week uh, this year. Uh, so it's happening in like uh, I think like uh, less than uh, 10, 11 days now. So uh, uh, if you're traveling to Yana uh, Week and then if you are presenting. So let us, uh, our audience know like uh, how they can find and then what presentation you are speaking on. I have no presentation at the moment because there are oh, wow. okay. no new stuff in this uh, lab view safety and also not in this uh -huh. um, uh, proficiency uh -huh. where because this proficiency topic is uh, maybe not on the, on the presenter list in this year, but I'm completely open because I'm uh, on the NI week, you will find me as you mentioned before with the yellow shoes yeah. uh, come yeah. to me on we will have an, a, a coffee break together um, mm -hmm. i if everybody who's interested in my my stuff my topics uh, that we have uh, latest uh, 10 minutes coffee half an hour coffee every time yeah yeah really 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 awesome like uh, please like uh, do not miss uh, you know, Marcus had the Yenai week, like he will be there. Anyway, like it's very easy to spot him out, just like he said, and very inspiring uh, to speak with him as well. So uh, Marcus, like uh, we're coming towards the end of this uh, awesome interview. Like uh, I've got like uh, to learn a lot of uh, from you, like uh, not only from the perspective of, uh, you know, the customer point of view on like uh, how the application has to be also from your experience, um, you know, guiding them to, you know, working in like a different departments so with like a different key skills and everything, putting them together and helping them uh, successful. Uh, so uh, apart from this, like, uh, what do you want to give your uh, message uh, to the uh, CLAs, CLDs, the uh, lab users in your uh, area as well as uh, uh, in Germany, and also the other lab champions as well. The general information you want to give or generous shout out to them. Obviously, like uh, we'll be in touch uh, in the future as well. But like uh, uh, for this end of this, uh, you know, the interview, like uh, what message you want to give to everyone? I think we we uh, are experts and uh, users and programmers of a very um, innovative tool. And as somebody who is not really involved in in lab view and and test automation, also involved in digitalization and uh, Internet of Things stuff. I think, uh, in my perspective, it, it is as I mentioned before, a very nice tool, especially in the time to market perspective, to realize mm -hmm. Internet of Things applications. And this will be the, the the applications we will develop in the future. 
and I think we are on a good way and uh, maybe we will uh, um, fight this uh, reliability uh, challenge down and we'll mm -hmm. show everybody that, that LabVIEW is also a very, very uh, good uh, development environment, especially on these points, yes, uh, yeah. that it is a, a real uh, development language and uh, it is a very uh, innovative uh, development language with this graphical approach and we have also yeah. the possibility to connect uh, several hardwares or every hardware in the world yeah. with these tools and that is very important because uh, every uh, every development in digitalization based on sensors and sensor informations or yeah. data and uh, if you have a tool to develop products and applications in the future with a good possibility to access data points, uh, I think then then we, yeah. we have a tool for the future. I think this is a, a message I have. Yeah. Wow, uh, really awesome message, uh, Marcus. So Marcus, uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, for today for the interview. I know like uh, uh, the audience as well as the uh, audience, not only from like uh, India or in Germany, but from all over the world, uh, they have learned a lot from you like uh, in the aspect of you know how to develop the proficiency and all this kind of this stuff and everything so thank you very much from all the way from uh, germany thank you marcus you're welcome thank you to yeah. spend yeah, time you. to uh, ask me questions and to hear what i have to say and also the yeah. effort you have to uh, publish these videos to to work it out and 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 to edit it i think it's a hard job and uh, yes, uh, it, it was a honor for me, and uh, I hope to see many of you in in any week, every uh, um, uh, event we have where let you developers are together. And I hope you also to see you Ram in the future personally. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your kind words, uh, Marcus. So uh, thank you very much for everyone for tuning in to these uh, interviews as well. Uh, next time, like uh, we'll be inviting another LabVIEW personality expert and LabVIEW champions to share their journey with LabVIEW and their contribution to the uh, LabVIEW community. Thank you very much for joining in, and goodbye. Yes, thank you very much.